So when you fill out a death certificate in Wisconsin as a physician, you have to check a box that says, did alcohol contribute to this death? Yes or no. And I had a conversation with some of my colleagues in oncology about, you know, when do you, when do you check yes? And the consensus was basically like, mm, I don't know. Like none of us really knew exactly when. We sort of knew alcohol was not health food, but when it was directly impacting cancer was less clear. So that led me down this road of reviewing the literature, and then an opportunity came up to write a policy statement for the oncology professional organization, American Society of Clinical Oncology. And in that, we just reiterated the data of alcohol as a carcinogen and then supported some policy strategies that communities and organizations could get behind to lower the number of alcohol-associated cancers. It's about about 5% of cancers. So I wrote this paper, you know, fairly quickly with some colleagues and really did not think it was going to go anywhere. Um, and it ended up having a huge media footprint relative to any of my other papers. I think it's still the most downloaded paper for the Journal of Clinical Oncology, over 3 million downloads. And um, I did media, I had to like New York Times, Fox News, which made me realize Awareness was not particularly high amongst lay people, and also that people wanted to continue to talk about it.